Hello guys, this is a theory that how we gonna use uh, AWS uh, S3 plugin uh, into uh, in this uh, our Unreal 4 project. So right now I just created an actor. So in this begin play, we can do something and and make sure you drag your uh, actor to the to the level. Okay, so right now we're going to create it. Okay, and then you need to give it a credential and a and a client configuration. So in the credential, you're gonna put the SS key and the secret key here. Okay, you like this, and in the client configuration, the only thing you have to do is like to change the region. So for me, it's gonna be the uh, wait a second. So for me, it's, it's uh, UE East one. So make sure that, uh, the region is same as your uh, your, your website. Okay, so uh, now I have this uh, S3 object. So you're gonna create a variable. Oh, I have already created a variable, so I'll just use this. This as a uh, three object. So when we actually try to uh, upload the file into the S3, we have to make a bucket first. So, but but actually you can create a bucket in the website, but but actually I want to upload the I, I want to create a bucket in the Unreal Four. So right here I. I use this S3 object and there is a node card created to the bucket. Okay, in the created bucket request, the first thing we need to change is uh, ACL. Uh, is the policy of the bucket. So let's say I want to set that my bucket uh, private. It means that we uh, the the bucket that only me can access this bucket, and we are going to give it a name of the bucket. So let's say uh, let's say E the best uh, S three test tutory and create a bucket con configuration. So you have to set your location of your bucket. It gives you a uh, main location battery because my location is gonna be the uh, and then everything all set and everything all set. So and after this, we're gonna print the the error message if it goes uh, unsuccessful. Okay, now we go back to our account. I'm gonna search uh, S3 here and we go to S3. Just created a bucket called AWS. Okay, now it just it has uh, only two buckets that I created before. So right now I'm gonna click the play. It will run the begin play and created a bucket called AWS S3 uh, test tutorial for me. So I'm gonna click play. Okay, so right now we're gonna refresh this page. Woohoo! And there is there is a bucket. There's no file in this bucket, okay? So, but actually, we we did successfully create a bucket. So we just create a bucket. So right now we're going to upload some some files um, by Unreal Four, okay? And uh, before we do this, and we're gonna in the content we create a blueprint class. So there is a class called a uh, transfer transfer manager uh, configuration. So I just give a name called uh, AWS S3 uh, transfer transfer configuration. Okay, and we go back to the actor. So after this, we construct object from class. We're gonna search 
we just created a AWS transfer configuration. So we're going to search that. Okay, and the first thing, the, the alter is going to be self. And F3 client is this one. And there's four template we're going to fill in. And the first is the port object template. Actually, your only thing you need to, to change is uh, the privacy. Let me just set it uh, private at this moment. And everything go down is there is uh, express. Make data time. The year we give it 1970. And the month is 1 and day is 1. Okay, and we still go down. And there's also a data time called object lock retain until date. So we right here we're gonna use the same data time. Okay, and this one template and there's a second template called get object template. So right here is it has a if modify since and we need to give it a data time so we also use this same data time and there is a uh, if unmodified since so we also use this data time and the response expressed do the same and there is created multi-part upload template and we make it the privacy actually we want to give it a uh, private and express uh, we do the same and also the object lock return until date okay now the last template is upload part template oh we don't need to do anything in this template okay and then there is a written value and you're gonna search uh, created transfer manager object and now you created a variable I have already created a variable okay so now it's time to upload a file to the bucket so the transfer manager and you're gonna search upload upload files the file name. The first, we're gonna put the file name. File name is gonna, gonna be the the paste the the your file's location. Okay, so we're gonna add this file. So actually, we're gonna put some things. So we whatever we put. Uh, okay, and then we start to upload. So for example, I'm gonna upload uh, this files. So we right click its property. So we can copy its location. And after the location, uh, make sure you put the this file's name with the format. The bucket name, uh, I'm going to use this bucket name. The, bu the bucket name I just created. And the key name, uh, the key name actually, for example, I just give it the, the files name with with a format. And now we need to give it a content type. So actually, the content type you have to go online to search uh, which content type uh, match your your format, your files format. So in this case, I just uh, make an example. I I say if I want I want my content type is gonna be the video MP4. Okay, and the last last thing is the multi data. I will just make the map and then remove. Okay, and we're gonna click the click play. So actually, there's nothing this bucket. Then after I refresh, you see there is a file from this from this folder. It successfully uploaded uh, in this bucket. So next thing is we are going to download the file from the AWS bucket and to the local to my computer's uh, location. And there is a node called download, download file. 
so the bucket name uh, bucket name we with this bucket because this file is in this bucket and the key name uh, the key name is should be this this file name just copy just copy the this file's name and this key name okay and the right to file is we have to put a location and this node will download the file from AWS to the location that we give. So I okay. So I I choose this location. So I just copy this paste. Okay, and after the paste, we're gonna give it a file's name. Uh, for example, uh, I just give it the, the key name as uh, the file name and the download config. Uh, you can leave it blank so we're gonna click the play nothing happened and we go back okay now the file is downloaded from the AWS uh, the bucket uh, so let's just open it okay so now I, I want this file in Unreal 4 okay so we're no longer using a transfer manager we go back to use our uh, S3 uh, object and now we're gonna search delete delete object Okay, and uh, in the request, uh, we're gonna put something. First, we're gonna put the bucket. Bucket is gonna be this bucket. And the key, the key is gonna be this file's name. Okay, then all set, and we're gonna print the error message. So now we click play and we go back and we we can refresh this page okay now there is no files in this bucket okay so okay now we delete the, the files from the bucket so right now we're going to delete this bucket we can delete this bucket this block this bucket called AWS S3 test tutorial so S3 bucket S3 object and there is delete bucket so the bucket we just give it a bucket name click play nothing happened and refresh this page Oh, there's no longer uh, the bucket in in my F3.